Well, what's up guys? Today I bring you episode 67 of the Coolest Tech of the Month, April 2022. So we do have another epic episode with lots of innovative cool tech products and gadgets with an interesting mix from laptops, portable video players, wireless headphones, 100 watt chargers, smartphones, retro game consoles, and lots, lots more. So if you've not already done it, then please do like and sub to the channel and follow us on socials for more innovative core tech videos and also behind the scenes and giveaways, etc. As usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. The Soundpeats Mini Pro True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. And here they are. So a small compact charging case uh, made from plastic. The Soundpeats logo is engraved and you've got a power indicator just underneath. And on the other side, you have a type C charging port. So these do support hybrid active noise cancellation with Bluetooth 5.2 and Qualcomm aptX. So as you can see, these are very compact in size, but somehow they managed to squeeze a 10 millimeter driver inside each earbud. Now the earbuds are made from plastic and you have the Soundpeats logo on each side. Now each earbud will give you seven hours of battery life and five hours of battery life if you keep ANC on and the charging case will give you a total of 21 hours. Now you do get noise cancelling microphone built in and they feature touch control and they are IPX5 splash proof and you do have a dedicated gaming mode built in. So that was the Soundpeats Mini Pro True wireless stereo earbuds featuring hybrid active noise cancellation. Definitely not bad for the price. So next up we have a very useful product. This is the Anker Nano Pro. Now it's no secret that Anker provide the best replacement chargers for your iPhone at fraction of the price of an original iPhone charger. Let me show you what I have here. So this one here is the Anker Nano Pro 20 watt charger. So simple wall charger with a type C port, maximum charging speed 20 watts. So ideal for your iPhones. iPhones no longer ship with chargers. So you pick one of these up and save yourself a lot of money. Um, look how compact and light this is as well. And they're available in different colors. So I've got this uh, sky blue color here. You can also pick up a matching colored lightning cable. So it's all MFI certified. It will work with your iPhone perfectly, but otherwise your original iPhone cable will work perfectly fine with this charger. Now over here we have the Anker Nano Pro 40 watt charger. So again, designed for iPhones, but you can also charge anything from your AirPods, iPhones, your MacBook, your iPads, and lots more. So you've got a two port design on this one. So using a single port offers up to 40 watt charging. And if you use two ports at the same time, then you can achieve 20 watts from each port. It's again, compact in size, and it features a power tuner chip, which can automatically adjust the required power output. And you've also got dynamic temperature sensors. So all the safety features are in place, so you're not gonna burn your product out. Um, the safety chip can automatically detect what you are trying to charge, and it will adjust the power output accordingly. So Anker Nano Pro 40 watt, again, you can buy a matching cable if you want, um, otherwise your existing cable works pretty well. So here we have the Technics A800 noise cancelling wireless headphones. So this is a high-end premium pair of wireless headphones and you can see some of the features on the back. High-res audio including wireless high-res audio. So you're getting a rather nice zip-up case with this and it's finished in this leather-like material. Uh, no idea if it's genuine leather or not but it does feel good. Wow, check out that presentation. So they are foldable to fit inside the case and they opened right out. Um, before we look at that, quickly see what else you get. So we've got an audio cable, we've got an audio adapter here, and a type C charging cable. So everything fits nicely into the pouch. Headphones themselves feel very premium. Um, you've got a combination of metal and plastic. They are extendable, and they are well padded on the inside head strap, and also nicely cushioned ear cups, clearly labeled right and left. Now this circular plate you have over here with the Technics logo is made from metal and you've got that on both sides. Um, some controls, volume control, power button, type C port and an audio jack. So these are wireless headphones, but if you wanted to use them wired, the option is there. 
So they do feature premium dual hybrid noise cancellation. You've got 40 millimeter drivers with three layer diaphragm for smooth detailed highlights and bass. These do support high resolution wireless audio. You've got Bluetooth multi-port pairing, which allows you to connect to two Bluetooth devices at the same time. You're getting a 50 hour battery life from a single charge and that's with active noise cancelling on. So massive battery life. Um, they do support quick charge. So 15 minute charge will give you 10 hours of music, which is insane. Now these do also support your smartphone's voice assistant and you've got eight noise cancelling microphones built in. And I have to admit, they do look the business. I wouldn't mind wearing these around. They look, they look the business. So Technics A800 wireless headphones, people. Yeah, definitely check these out. All right, so time for some retro gaming. Over here we have the Powkiddy 18S handheld game console. And here it is with a very unique color and finish. Um, open it up to a very nice 5.5 inch IPS HD Plus display. This is powered by the T618 octa-core clocked at two gigahertz. You've got the Mali G52 graphics with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. On the top there, you can see micro SD card, mini HDMI and the type C charging port. And you've got four trigger buttons to play around with. And for controls, you can see you've got dual joystick D-pad, select start, and you've got your YXAB, and you've got volume control, power button home, back etc now this is based on android 11 and the screen is a touch screen so you can install your favorite apks there is no google play store on here so you're not going to be able to download games from google play but you can of course install all your apks on this so not only is this a gaming machine but you can also watch your online movies and videos etc and you've got a rather generous 5000 milliamp hour battery built in we started off with dolphin emulator trying to play a wii game um, standard settings nothing upscaled and as you saw, it absolutely struggled. So you're not gonna be playing Wii games on this. So that was PS2 emulation with Esther SX2. We're playing Here Comes a Pain, and as you saw, it just uh, was not playing very well. So Dolphin and PS2 are out of the question. I'll quickly show you Citra as well. Same situation. So Citra, Dolphin, and Esther SX2 is out of the question. What about N64? So playing No Mercy on the N64 played absolutely fine. And that was also upscaled slightly to 3X. So it looks like this is gonna emulate the older generation consoles, N64 downwards, um, definitely not N64 upwards. It can also emulate PlayStation 1 games. So I installed APK Pure via an APK. And after that, I was able to obtain Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime Video, and all of them work fine. The only thing that didn't work was YouTube. So if you wanna watch YouTube, you need to watch it from the Chrome browser which does work absolutely fine. So you can load up any video you like. And the sound quality is actually quite good. You've got down firing speakers and there are dual speakers and even a headphone jack in the center. Now, so that's YouTube through the browser. I'll quickly show you Netflix working. For my pleasant surprise, Disney Plus actually works in HD. A very interesting handheld game console. It's designed well. It can play all your low-end emulation games from N64, PlayStation, SNES, and downwards. It does struggle with some of the higher-end um, emulators, but other than that, it is great for multimedia. It's running on Android 11, and you get a generous 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So next up, we have the Link Plus P3 laptop. First thing is first, you've got matte white finish which looks really, really nice, I have to say. All right, let's check it out, shall we? Wow, it's matte white finish. 14 inch display there, full HD. It is made completely from plastic, so very light, 1.4 kgs. Nice contrast, that black and white. This laptop is powered by the Intel Celeron N3350. You've got four gigs of RAM and 128 gig SSD. The storage is expandable and it's easy to upgrade it two screws, open that up, and you can swap it out for a 512. You've got a nice 5,000 milliamp hour battery. You've got wide connectivity, and I'll quickly go through the ports. 
micro SD slot, headphone jack, full size USB. We've got an ethernet port over here, another USB. And on the other side, we have our power socket, USB 3 and an HDMI out. Then I'll quickly show you that 12 watt power supply. And this does come pre-installed with Windows 10 Home. And you're also getting a decent looking trackpad and keyboard. So an ideal laptop for your everyday tasks, office applications, coursework, uh, school, college, uni. This is an ideal laptop. It's got enough performance in there to handle your everyday tasks, your web browsing, your emails, your office applications. You can do all of that with, with ease. Um, you can even play some light games on this as well. Games like Asphalt 9 and Modern Combat will play absolutely fine on this. Um, anything more graphically intense will probably struggle, but at the end of the day, this is not um, designed to be a gaming laptop. I really do like that matte white finish, um, color design, everything spot on. For the price, you simply can't go wrong. The Link Plus P3 laptop, people. So next up, we have Light Curve Wake Up Clock Radio. So this is a multifunctional bedside clock. You've got seven different color LED settings, so you can create that mood. You've got sunrise and sunset simulation. I'll give you a quick demo of the lighting, so you can tap the light button there, and you've got LED lights. You can see how bright it gets. I'll turn it right down and turn it up. And you've also got different color settings that you can play around with. Nice selection there for you to set the mood. You've got built-in FM radio. That is also how it should be. So you got an FM and AM radio tuner with auto tune and you can save up to 40 presets for you. There's a three watt speaker on the back. You can see the speaker grill and it does give you a pretty decent volume, especially for a bedside clock radio and a nice and big snooze button in the middle, which you can just press as soon as that wakes you up in the morning. So that was the very useful groovy light curve. It's a really nice clock radio. Love the LED lights and sunrise and sunset simulation is also pretty cool. Um, and the FM radio is loud and clear built in antenna. Yeah, definitely check this out. Can't go wrong for the price. So mystery brown box is what we have next. Let's see what's inside. Wow nice case we've got a braided usb type c to type a cable some spare keys this is actually a very unique mechanical keyboard wait till you see the design so it's made from a natural wood base it's a minimalistic design it's very compact oh that does feel good so you've got gateron switch dynamic rgb lights supports bluetooth 5.1 so it is completely wireless um, I want to quickly show you there on the side is the USB-C port to charge the actual unit. So I'll just dim the lights to show you. You've got dynamic backlit RGBs. The keys are fully programmable and hot swappable. You've got wide compatibility with Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS. There is a 1900 milliamp hour battery built in so it can actually last a few weeks with three to four hours usage every single day. So yeah, really liking the design of this product. The natural wood base uh, looks and feels good. Um, I love the minimalistic design and how compact it is. What a space saver on the desk. So awesome mechanical wood keyboard by the Keyboard Lab. Definitely check this one out, guys. We have the latest 2022 Tanjula Box X5. So this TV box here will give you free lifetime live TV. So all your movies, TV and live shows completely free. I'll quickly show you what you get inside the box. You get user manual, HDMI cable, power supply, and an infrared remote control, and the TV box itself. So this box is powered by the S905X4 quad core with eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Um, you do also have a micro SD card slot, one USB 3, and you've got a gigabit LAN, and this does support HDMI 2.1. Now this box will give you 24 seven customer service as well. So once you've uh, bought the box, uh, you don't need to buy anything else. So for more info on the product itself, do check out the links in the description box below. Tangula X5 people. So next up we have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus touch silicon case and the flat 1.8 meter universal cable, both by Atom Studios. So first of all, let's check out the case. So this is a protective case for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. 
It's made from sustainable materials, soft touch sand based silicon. You've got a slim profile. It's lined by microfiber with the Atom Studios logo engraved at the bottom. It is also compatible with wireless charging and you've got these raised edges to protect the screen. And guess what guys, this was designed in London. Sustainable but premium in quality, a uh, really nice case for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and it won't break the bank. And I also have the Atom Studios flat USB-C universal charging cable. Comes in this rather nice drawstring bag. Check it out guys. It's an extra long 1.8 meter flat cable USB-C to USB-C and also you've got these interchangeable aluminium heads so USB-A with USB-C on the inside and you're also getting a lightning and micro USB so you can attach them on the tips and that will give you a universal charging slash data cable it supports most fast charging protocols like Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 and high speed data transfers up to 480 megabits per second. Quite a useful and affordable product by Atom Studios. Um, I'm definitely gonna be making use of this one. So that was the universal flat cable by Atom Studios. All right, so let's see what's next. So next up we have a 100 watt magnetic wireless power bank by Exitris. So the power bank has this fabric finish on top and bottom and it's finished in this green color. So the plus on the top is where you would put your phone down for wireless charging. You've got the company logo right there. Um, interesting strip going all the way around. So button on the side, press it, and on the other side you will find uh, your percentage. So it's 72% right now. Here are your ports. You've got one USB-A, which gives you 18 watts of maximum power output. You've got a USB Type-C port, which will give you up to 44 watts maximum power output. And you've got a USB-C input and output which will give you that maximum 100 watts power delivery fast charging and the input charge is 65 watts so 65 watts to actually charge the power bank itself so you've got 20,800 milliamp hours of power you can charge four devices at the same time so three devices here and one charging wirelessly it's powerful enough to charge everything from 5 watt earbuds all the way to a 100 watt laptop and to charge the actual power bank it takes around one hour for 70% charge. So Airbuds Pro, sticking it on top, immediately starts charging, as you can see. I'll grab a few phones here just to test the wireless charging. So an iPhone on top, wow, that just stuck on in place. Fast charging, one minute remaining. And it's held on magnetically, as you can see. So that's Fold 3. Yep. Fast wireless charging. So that was the 100 watt magnetic wireless power bank by Exceptress. Next up we have the GoPro Hero charging case. So we've got a Type-C to Type-C cable and a Type-C to Type-A cable, instruction manual and the charging case itself. So the charging case has a power button on the front. It shows you the battery capacity first of all. So from 100%, you can see we have 75% right now, battery capacity. So that's the internal battery, which is 10,400 milliamp hours. Now this charging case is compatible with nearly all GoPro batteries from Hero 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the new 10. So you can see we have these three adapters in place and they are for the older GoPro batteries. So this is the new GoPro Hero 10 battery. If we stick that in, you don't need an adapter. It's the right size. And this is a GoPro Hero 7 battery. And if you stick that in, it's gonna be too small. So you need to just use one of the adapters. So all you do is slide it into the adapter and slot, slot it in place. And that's it. And you can charge three batteries at the same time. So here is another GoPro Hero 7 battery. I'm just gonna slot that in as well. And close the lid. So straight away, you're gonna see one, two, and three, and it will tell you that it's charging. The red light indicates charging. So you can charge three batteries at the same time, and it takes around two and a half hours to charge all three batteries. If you press that power button twice, it will stop charging completely, as you can see. And if you press it once, it will continue charging. You can also store four micro SD cards at the top. Not only that, on the back, you can see we've got two ports, USB-A and a USB-C. So you can effectively use this as a power bank to charge your smartphone or the GoPro cameras itself. So multiple functionality from a single charging case and the internal 10,400 milliamp hours is enough to charge a GoPro Hero 10 battery up to four times or the older batteries up to six times. So if you do use your GoPro a lot, this is such a handy product. 
um, definitely check this one out this is the gopro charging case model number ps g10 all right so let's see what's next so here we have a 16 inch completely portable dvd player with hdmi input this is a video player so you can stick in a usb drive and it supports all formats of videos so but again, that is not the reason I bought this. I bought this because it has an HDMI input. So I imagine myself playing my favorite game console via HDMI on a foldable, portable, self-powered unit. So that's the plan. Let's see what happens. So you're getting a carry case. Here is the player itself. Whoa, check it out. It's like a big 15 inch old school laptop. It's quite thick. You can see the company name right there. So a lot going on there with connectivity. You've got full size USB port for your multimedia, headphone jack, AV out, AV in, HDMI in, power switch and a power socket and nothing on the back and nothing on the other side. So let's, let's just open it straight away. Wow, that's quite an old school design right there. So the screen does swivel around. So 270 degrees all the way around and I believe you can fold it back as well so pick it up tablet style so quick look at some of the functions you've got navigational controls power button volume um, a few buttons on that side open up check your disc in it says remove this before you play i don't even think i have any dvds lying around but this also supports um, movies saved as a data cd or a data dvd you can play your collection like that as well which is interesting car charger old school av connection remote control cool and your actual power adapter in, all included in the box so this is completely portable so there is a 5000 milliamp hour battery built in it's supposed to give you around six hours of battery life all right so i've got the playstation loaded up you don't even have to use the remote control if you press the mode button it will bring up your input sources then you can navigate downwards colors and contrast not great this is a tft display so yeah i'm not over the moon about the colors if you go to setup, you can you can fine tune things to make it a bit better. So if we turn that contrast right up. So I've adjusted that and made it look better. Again, TFT display, so don't expect the best looking screen. And if you look at the actual unit, I've not plugged in any power. So this is working on the built-in battery. So that means I can game on this for six hours non-stop without worrying about battery life. So I will load up a game to see what this looks like. So that's what the PlayStation 4 looks like, but what if you were to watch movies? To hunting Jedi. So this was an experiment to see what a PlayStation 4 would look like on this. Um, and I have to be totally honest with you guys, the TFT display is a bit of a letdown. I can't get the colors and contrast to look half decent. Cool idea, but implementation was not quite there. All right, next up we have the L100 drone. So the drone comes packaged in this very nice carry case. If we open it up, you can see everything neatly arranged. Have a look at the drone straight away. So here is the drone and it's folded up. If we unfold it, you can see a very unique V-shaped drone. It's got dual motors with dual propellers. So not your usual four propeller drone. This one operates with only two propellers. It features a 2.7K camera on the front, um, which is housed on a two axis self-stabilizing gimbal this drone also features gps positioning and the operating distance with the actual remote control is 1200 meters so charger and battery if we just slot that straight in like so you've got a button on the back when you press it it gives you an indication of the battery life and you can see we've got full battery out of the box so on a single charge you can expect around 26 minutes of fly time which is quite good but it does take a solid six hours to charge that battery and as you can see the battery capacity is 1800 milliamp hours so drone is lightweight it only weighs 280 grams it's jam-packed with features like one key return low power return stability hover gps tracking and you even have hand gesture control and lots lots more now the remote itself also has an internal battery built in 
and you can just charge it with a micro USB charger which is included in the package um, switch it on and you're ready to go in the pack you also get some spare propellers and a micro USB charging cable for the remote control and you've got some user manuals to help you get started So that was the L100 drone. Had a lot of fun testing this one out. A very small learning curve. It's easy to fly and the controls are really good. And you can also hook up your smartphone on the front so you can view those cameras in real time. So definitely check out this amazing looking drone, the LYZRC L100 drone people. So there you have it guys. That concludes episode 67 of the coolest tech of the month. If you got this far, then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favorites from the bunch. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. All the links will be provided for you in the description box. And I know you guys know exactly what to do. Like, sub, hit the bell icon and follow if you have not done so already. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.